Hey there garden friends, it's Heather at Bush Poppy Farm and today I'm going to talk to you about WCA or water soluble calcium. WCA, also known as water soluble calcium, is a bioavailable, highly absorbable form of calcium that you can make at home to give to your plants. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, we always hear about the three um, minerals that plants need, NPK, right? Nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. And this is what's on labels for all of our fertilizers that we purchase at the store. However, those are not nearly as important as calcium. Up to 68% of soil mineral matter should be calcium for healthy plants, 68%. Calcium is a super important nutri uh, nutrient that regulates plant growth and development. And soils that have super high pH are less uh, likely to be able to provide calcium to plants. In other words, the calcium may be there, but the plants can't take it up because the pH is so high. Soils with excessive sodium and potassium and magnesium also mean that calcium is not bioavailable to plants. Now, those things can happen if you're using lots and lots of commercial fertilizers. Even if they're organic, the, so the salts will build up in the soil. Also, potassium and magnesium can build up in the soil. Calcium and magnesium are both positive cations, but they work differently in the soil. So calcium opens up clay soils. Really heavy soils, calcium is a big um, molecule, and so it takes up space. So if you have very compacted soils, adding calcium is the way to treat that, to open up those soils. Conversely, if you have really loose and sandy soils, adding magnesium actually can help compress those soils a little bit so that they, they can hold more moisture and nutrients. But magnesium is a different story. Today we're talking about calcium. Uh, WCA is a, like I said, a bioavailable, water-soluble calcium supplement that your plants can take up either through the roots, through a soil drench, or through the stoma on the leaves through a foliar feed. Um, there, this is a great alternative to the commercially bought calcium supplements that you might get like um, lime, crushed limestone or gypsum. You can make this yourself. We're going to make it from eggshells. You can also make it from oyster shells or even bone. Uh, a lot of people use cow bone or um, pig bones to do this. Calcium deficiencies show up in a number of ways in your plants. So how do you know if you need calcium? Well, number one, I would recommend doing a soil test. <laughs> Getting a soil test done by an extension officer or one of the many companies that do soil tests. They're usually between $30 and $50 and they will tell you so much about what your soil has and what it's lacking. So that's where you can start. But your plants will also tell you. Seeds that are deficient in calcium, their surrounding um, soil medium is deficient in calcium, they will produce, well, it'll be very poor germination to start with. And then they'll produce really weak and leggy stems. And the seedlings themselves will just be very weak and have a hard time surviving. Now in full grown plants or plants that are more mature, you see calcium deficiencies show up on the leaf tips. So it, it causes necrosis of the leaf tips. You'll get like darkening of the leaf tips and curl as well. And then um, it will stunt the growth of the plant. And ca so calcium deficiency is one of the things that causes blossom end rot in tomatoes. And so to avoid all that, we wanna add some calcium. So like I said, we're gonna use eggshells to make our WCA, but the prime ingredient is vinegar. So this is going to be a vinegar extraction. So lots of scientific research has been done on this. And if you just crush up eggshells super finely and you lay them in your garden, that calcium is still not available for the plants to take up. And so it needs help. And that help comes in the form of vinegar. You don't have to worry about adding the vinegar to your garden because the dilution rate is really um, high, I guess you would say. The dilution rate is 
one part vinegar extraction to 1,000 parts water, one to 1,000. So there's no worry about um, vinegar causing any problems in the garden, uh, but we are going to use organic apple cider vinegar to make this extraction. You can apply it either as a soil drench directly to the soil, just like with our compost tea. Um, that will uh, get into the soil. It will help the root development and the plant will take it up that way. And you can also uh, apply it as a foliar feed. So they'll take it in through their leaves. If you're going to do it as a foliar feed, be sure you do it either first thing in the morning before the sun is really up or late uh, just after sunset. And the reason for this is you want to make sure that the, um, the calcium gets completely absorbed into the leaves without being um, you know, taken away by evaporation. So uh, do it at one of those two times. So that's the basics. Now let's start making our WCA. Okay, so to make this WCA, we need a couple of things. Obviously, we need eggshells. So this right here is seven eggs. Um, <laughs> right now, these days, I'm the only one eating eggs in the house. Uh, we go through phases where sometimes we eat dozens of eggs. Uh, other times, there's nobody eating eggs. So anyway, these are from me. But you see, they still have some albumin and some other stuff in them. So the, so the first step here is going to be to cook all of that off. All right, so then we also have a quart jar. This is where we're gonna make the vinegar extraction. I have some cheesecloth to cover the top uh, and a rubber band. And then um, organic apple cider vinegar. This is not a product placement, but I happen to have rags. So um, you can use non-organic apple cider vinegar. That's fine. Um, I just prefer, we always have the organic one on hand. Um, so that's the one I use. You can also make your own apple cider vinegar, something which I like to try, but haven't done yet. Okay, so I've got all of my eggshells, and like I said, they still have, you can either spend time to pull out all this stuff, uh, which is challenging, <laughs> time consuming, um, or you can just pop it all in the, in the pan. But basically, we are going to be cooking these in order to remove any of the uh, organic matter that's still in here so that it doesn't rot. Because the cool thing about this, um, this system is, once you make this vinegar extraction, it is shelf stable. So that's why you have to cook them first. Also, I think it frees up some of the calcium too. Uh, Oh, this one's pretty fresh because I ate it this morning. <laughs> it's still, still kind of wet. Anyway, um, this can be a slow process. So I'll probably put this on time lapse and it can take up to 45 minutes. If you happen to have a um, toaster oven, which we used to, but we do not anymore, that's the best way. You can put them in whole in the toaster oven like this, just like put all the halves on the toaster oven rack and toast them on low, like the lowest, lightest color toast, uh, three, maybe four times, and then you're done. And they're ready to go into the vinegar. Um, or you can do this outside on your grill. Um, or you can do it like I'm doing it on the stove top. So what you wanna do is you wanna cook these guys up to where they are browned, but not burned. You're basically just trying to cook off any of the organic uh, residue that remains. Okay, so that took about 20 minutes. And you could see, hopefully, that the shells went from being mostly white, on the inside at least, <laughs> 
to a dark tan color. Now I'm going to add them to the jar. I'm actually using a funnel because I didn't want to get any on the counter. Okay. All right, so there's our eggshells. And so the, um, the ratio for this is about one part eggshells to 10 parts um, apple cider vinegar, or you can use white vinegar, but um, I, more people have chosen apple cider vinegar probably for its success rate. So I'm not gonna dump it all in at once because if we have a strong reaction, we, we don't wanna overflow everywhere. But, whoa, yeah, see? Okay. Now, some of that is because it's, uh, it was hot when I put it in there. Okay. So, hopefully you can see, yep, so the reaction is already happening at the bottom Things are jumping around. There's bubbles rising. See all those bubbles coming up? That is the reaction happening between the vinegar and the calcium. That's what you want to see. And I'm going to add a little bit more vinegar. The stuff rising to the top. Uh, so eggshells, those are what's floating up. They'll, be, they'll go up and then they'll come back down and then they'll go up and they'll come back down. And the finer you crush your eggshells, um, the more surface area there is for the, um, for the vinegar reaction. So you'll get more of a reaction like you see here. So this means it's working. Now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more. All right, that's pretty much it. So if I had more eggshells then I would have added more vinegar but this is good so you can see how it's reacting in the vinegar which means we have uh, done it right this is actually the first time I've made this um, but this is exactly how it's supposed to look <laughs> so that's good that's exciting everything's really reacting in there now all we do, um, some people just leave it out, put it on a plate so that in case it overflows, because sometimes it foams up really high and um, that way you can make sure the foam just gets on the, on the uh, plate and not on your countertop or your bookshelf or wherever you're sitting this. I'm actually gonna put a cheesecloth over it and just stick a rubber band around it for now. So there's still, um, you know, air can still escape and the reaction can keep happening under there. And then I'm gonna set it um, in my kitchen on in a dark corner and it's gonna stay there for set five to 10 days. Seven is ideal, 10 is even better. Then what you do is you're going to strain out all of the eggshells and uh, you can put those in your compost pile when you're done. And then it is ready. It's shelf stable. It is ready to go. And so you just uh, mix it. Like I said, the dilution rate with water is one to a thousand. You can do one to 500, but that's a, a much stronger dilution rate. So one part uh, WCA or vinegar eggshell vinegar extract to a thousand parts water. So whatever kind of, um, whatever size watering can you're using, that's how you'll mix it. So that is it. Extremely easy vinegar extraction for eggshells so that you can get water soluble calcium to your plants exactly as they need it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I may or may not be able to answer them. I'm brand new to this as well. <laughs> so this will be my first time using calcium in this way in the garden, and I'm super excited to see how it helps my plants. If you've already used this and you use it all the time, I would love to hear about that too. So definitely leave your comments in, uh, below.
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.